Here we have a big old pile of money from my rack. I think this is probably the same series. And uh, one thing that Iraq has done in this series that I think is interesting is not only are the different denominations a different color, but they're also a different size. You know, like they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? And uh, that just makes it easier to tell them apart, which I think is a good idea, and a lot more uh, countries need to do that. This here is 25 dinars. Um, not really sure what this complex is. It's an interesting complex in the background. <coughs> mm, excuse me. You have um, Saddam there in the watermark as well. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me again. Um, looks like some kind of ancient device right there. This is a half of a dinar. Um, so it doesn't really, it's small, it doesn't really have any um, features on it. <coughs> mm. Alrighty then, we have this guy here. Also Saddam, and you got on the back of it a uh, rock dome. I guess that's the rock dome, nifty. Over here you have uh, a lovely landscape shot looks like a waterfall going through the mountains there. And on the back you have a complex which is nifty. This one here kind of looks like an ancient medallion though, doesn't it? Pretty neat. That's probably a uh, it's either a mosque or an important uh, government building. I'm leaning towards mosque probably. This here is a fourth dinar. It's the smallest. It's basically a uh, a fraction note, which means a fourth would be like a quarter. You know, if uh, Americans made, if we made a uh, a banknote that represented a quarter, this this would be, you know, a fourth dinar. It would be a fourth of a dollar. Can you dig it? This here is lovely. You get horses, and you have even a horse in the watermark, which, uh, how cool is that, to have a horse in the watermark? I mean, come on. And uh, here you have a, what is it, like a bathhouse or something? I'm not sure. You get a little thing in the middle there. It's pretty cool. You have uh, an important feller here. It's got like an algorithmic thing going on there, so he's probably like a mathematician or something. A smart guy. And a, a, another horse in the watermark. Because why not? Horses are awesome. Looks like uh looks like a horse there. And you can just see him through there. So that's cool. You got a little tower in the background. Some buildings. It's pretty uh, cool. I like the uh, the different sizes, and it adds all kinds of personality to a banknote when they, uh, um, well, when they don't do it the same. You know, like our money is so boring. <laughs> it's all the same size, and it's all the same colors, and it's sort of. I mean, you know, but um, this is money from Iraq, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you today glad I did. It's pretty nifty. Yes, I said the word nifty. I'm bringing it back. Uh, and like always, if you have wisdom or insight on um, make notes from Iraq, please let me know in the comment section below. And um, I'd be glad to hear what you have to say. So, leave a like or don't. The world will keep turning either way. Thanks for watching. And I'm out.